Airbus. They build many types of airplanes, fighters, passenger aircraft, as well as some passenger-derived military aircraft. With an impressive industrial system spanning the whole of Europe, not to mention their recent investments across the Atlantic and America, Airbus is one true global aircraft manufacturer. Airbus truly symbolizes the coming together of the great European countries. European cooperation at its finest. Parts are built across the whole of Europe before being transported to the heart of Airbus' final assembly line in Toulouse. But of all the thousands of aircraft produced, a small number of which has received little credit for what they have done. Without these aircraft, the whole industrial system of Airbus will not be able to reach what's achieved today. I am of course talking about the Beluga. The Beluga was first thought about after the rapid growth of Airbus in the early 1990s. At that time, Airbus was planning larger, more capable long-range aircraft. The, the aircraft they used to transport parts, the Super Guppy, wasn't big enough to carry the wings of larger Airbus aircraft. Also, those aircraft were nearing retirement age, slow and relatively inefficient. To further increase production and efficiently produce more capable long-range airplanes, a replacement was needed. Many proposals were drawn up. Boeing was even thought to convert some 767 aircraft for Airbus. Eventually, Airbus also rejected this idea and decided to build their own. Work started in 1991 when the SATIC, the Super Airbus Transport International, selected to build upon the A300-600 and come up with a revolutionary new transporter with a similar concept to a Super Guppy. This would eventually go on to become the Beluga as we know it today. The Beluga served Airbus well up to 2013, where due to further plans for further ramp-up of Airbus's hugely popular A320 aircraft, as well as production of Airbus's largest one-body twin, the A350, Airbus realized it needed an even larger transporter. Seeing the huge success the original Beluga had, Airbus decided to invest in modifying one of its white bodies into an aircraft based on the same concept as the original Beluga, but upsized offering more space to carry more parts. Needless to say, with the A330 being the most proven and reliable freighter at the time, Airbus decided to work on modifying the A330-200 freighter into a Beluga Extra Large variant. The Beluga XL will replace all Belugas by 2021 and will bring higher operational efficiency to Airbus's industrial bottom line. But how much value does the new larger XL variant bring? Well, we will compare the mothers of all Airbus aircraft. As after all, all of Airbus's offsprings came out of the womb of these workhorses to see some improvements the new Beluga XL variant brings. But before we do, if you're new to the channel, a warm welcome and do stay tuned for more great detailed analysis and epic comparisons now coming weekly. Hitting subscribe will go a long way in encouraging me to make more of such great videos, so do consider doing so. By the way, with plenty of exciting aviation events on the horizon in this new decade of aviation, do stay tuned for some brand new aviation content coming soon on the Airplane Productions YouTube channel. This content will nicely complement the weekly detailed aviation analysis and epic comparisons, and is certainly worth looking forward to. Right, back to this cute comparison. Starting with performance, both are certainly some of the highest performing whales ever. And I'm right in saying that no other whale can fly this high. Alright, lame jokes aside, the A330 based Beluga XL certainly has higher performances than its predecessor. It more than doubles the distance flown compared to the predecessor, flying 2200 nautical miles compared to 900 nautical miles for the initial variant while carrying 50.5 tons of payloads compared to 47 tons for the initial variant. All in all, the new XL delivers extra performance compared to its predecessor.
Moving on to engines, another area where both differ. The Beluga XL is powered by European Rolls-Royce Trent 700 engines, while the older Beluga is powered by General Electric CF6 engines. The newer engines are quieter while also producing 13,000 pounds more thrust, rated for 71,000 pounds compared to 58,000 for the standard Beluga. Both engines are proven in service and deliver the reliability needed for powering a transporter aircraft. While the Rolls-Royce engine produces more thrust, it actually burns similar or slightly less fuel at power plant level. However, as the A330 is heavier, flies further and carries more passengers, it does burn more fuel per trip overall, burning around 5.5 tons of fuel per hour compared to around 4.8 tons for the A300 models. All in all, the A330 carries more payloads over further distances, but does also burn slightly more fuel per trip. Moving on to cabins, and in this respect, it is the volume and usable cargo space that matters most. Interesting to note, the Beluga XL has the highest cargo volume of any aircraft, but it doesn't carry the most payloads. However, this isn't important, as aircraft apart aren't as heavy as traditional cargo that freighters need to carry. What does matter is the space, volume, and what fits into these cargo holds. The A330-200 is obviously a larger aircraft compared to the A300-600 with a cargo base 6.9 meters longer and 1.8 meters wider than the standard Beluga. This equates to 30% more floor space compared to the original one. In practical terms, the new Beluga XL's cargo hold can take two A350 wings compared to just one for the older aircraft or three Beluga movements are needed to carry the equivalent of just one for the new Beluga XL. All in all, the new larger Beluga XL brings huge benefits in cargo volume, which further enhances Airbus's industrial operations. Moving on to the advantages of the Beluga family as a whole, and as the aircraft was designed in-house by Airbus, they will be able to optimize it to their needs, such as tailoring the loading and unloading system to be as efficient as possible. They also designed the aircraft to be compatible with all Airbus sites, minimizing complexity and additional production costs. Pilots that fly A330 or A300 aircraft can also fly the Beluga with little additional training, or the airframes that are based on are highly proven and reliable. However, the Beluga isn't an aircraft famous for its payload range capabilities, while landing it in tricky conditions can be, well, tricky. Orders? Well, Airbus has ordered 5 Belugas and 6 Beluga XLs with the new Beluga XLs to be delivered by 2023. Investment costs for developing both are around 1 billion USD, while the new Beluga XLs will replace older standard Belugas by 2021. So then, does the new extra-large Beluga bring extra huge benefits over its predecessor? Well, in my opinion, at least, with more range, more payload, more volume, the Beluga XL will certainly go a long way in supporting Airbus's future production plans. With the A320neo family and A350 family taking the world by storm, Thanks for watching till the end of this epic one and do stay tuned for more great detailed aviation analysis and comparisons on the way. Till we meet then, wishing everyone a whaley clear sky ahead.